For this morning, we have some of the best entrepreneurs in the country. And some of them even changed the entrepreneurial landscape of the Philippines. And they will be our judges. So let's, without any further ado, let's get to know these people. Tonight, Bergada, to say that our judges for the finale are formidable is an absolute understatement. Just to get them all in one room is an achievement for Chinoy Preneur 2012. Get on without much further ado, here they are. The head of SMK's Entrepreneurship Division, Ms. Johanna Rapisan. The Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Ironmate Incorporated and the 2012 Pusong OFW Awardee, Mr. Bansan Choa. The chairman of G2 Global Inc., the company behind the luxury resorts Canyon Cove, Canyon Woods, and Canyon de Boracay, Mr. George Go. The chairman emeritus of the Philippine Franchise Association and also the chairman of Francorp Philippines, the father of Philippine franchising, Mr. Sammy Lim. He is the Vice President and Head of Strategic Planning of the RFM Corporation, the Executive Director and Trustee of the Philippine Center for Entrepreneurship, one of the founders of GoNegosho, Mr. Ramon Lopez. One of the most respected businessmen and civic leader in the country, the President of the Philippine Chinese Charitable Association, the lone Filipino laureate of the 2012 Guzzi Peace Prize International, Dr. James D. The Chairman and Chief Marketing Strategist of Max Midden Fielders Incorporated, the Marketing Guru of the Philippines, Chinoy Preneur 2012 President Judge, Mr. Josiah Go. Mark, maraming nang napagdaanan ang ating teams from execution to conceptualization, budget, and lahat-lahat na. Actually, this is probably going to be the most hardest part of their challenge. Okay, hardest part? Why do you say that? Well, it's really going to be hard because in this particular round, it's going to be coming out with three, type, three parts. One, the feasibility of the business. Second, the profitability of the business. And third, the business has to be socially responsible. So that means their entire business plan today has to have all three components inside it. So Mark, let me just recap that. Feasible, mm -hmm. profitable, and socially responsible. All right, mga Chino Bergada, here's the current standing. So Mark, what do you think of the current standing now? Still anyone's game. Her current understanding of the game right now, we, the first place winner of this round gets about 60 points. And by 60 points, they can still actually beat whoever the top placer is. So there's still a chance that the last place, PCC, can still become first place, and the first place can still become last place. So, ano bang inaantay natin? Let's watch their presentation. Chinoy Barkada, this competition has brought not only knowledge and experience to our finalists. Kaya naman for the top three winning teams, dadagdagan namin yan na opportunity. Opportunity to start and take that first step to be real Chinoypreneurs. Here are the prizes for the Chinoypreneur 2012. the Chinoypreneur 2012 Champion. PCC is very willing and ready to prove that they have what it takes to compete against the top universities in Manila with pride with five of their most brightest minds. I'm Jenny Camay Sanchez. I'm Agadena Yuyurvaral. Hi, my name is Kesar Haridan. Hi, I'm Sinchi D. Hi, I'm Chani and Bright. We're from Philippine Cultural College and we're ready for Chinoy Premier Challenge. Go Team PCC! Go Hard! Chinoy Bergada, nakitaan natin sila ng tibay ng log at determination to win. And for the last leg of the competition, halina't panoorin natin ang Team PCC as they stand before the judges 
last time. Two weeks, uh, more than two weeks kami nag-prepare. Uh, two weeks nang walang tulog. Uh, effort, total effort. Nagikita kami everyday kahit na... This time, mas may OJT na kasi yung marami sa amin. So, gabi-gabi na lang kami nagikita. Kaya medyo mas hassle talaga sa part namin. Imagine yourself or your sons and daughter got in heavy rain and uh, walked through flood. And when you got home, your shoes is already near breakage or is already broken. This is the reason why we concept that we made a concept made out of a shoe that will be very much durable and will be waterproof. Now we present you our leather shoe, Pleco. The business concept namin is basically ano, napapanood namin sa documentaries yung mga invasive species. And those invasive species, hindi nila alam kung ano yung gagawin. And one of which nga is janitor fish. So, research, research kami, then we found out na pwede pala siyang magawa into leather. Our company will specialize in producing, manufacturing, and distributing leather goods made out of, uh, made out of janitor fish leather. Our target market will be the, the commuting students um, and the schools that requires black leather shoes, uh, aging from 13 to 21 years old and belong belonging to the broad sea market. So, our sales projection is so we use three channels, our schools, department store, and kiosk. Yun yung ginawa namin to help the fishermen. Um, Ma-reduce yung mga peste sa um, Philippines. Uh, yun, gumawa kami ng way. One of it nga is yung janitor fish leather. Our leather shoes is made out of 100% janitor fish leather. Our feature is that our product is highly durable, the lightweight. It, the leather does not easily peel off. And it is waterproof. It is long-lasting. It provides mobility. It requires less maintenance, and you will have no worries. Yung mismo product namin ang hirap din gawin. So naghuli pa kami ng isda. Kami na siyempre talaga kami sa lahat ng mga kumanta kami na naghanap kami sa patero. So parang naghanap pa talaga kami paano gawin yung product namin. A for effort sa paggawa ng prototype Team PCC, pero nagustuhan kaya ng ating mga judges ang kanilang business concept? I don't think you can do go business when your project study is on the negative. Especially when you're going to come up with more designs, the more negative it's going to be. So there's no such thing as going to business when in the first projection, you already envision that you'll be losing money. Yung, 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 ano ni Sir, yung comment ni Sir Banson Chua. Kasi looking at our competitors, yun nga, one of which yung, yung sinasabi namin, we have almost similar design. Yung length, same, same, same lahat eh. Kasi yung leather shoes ngayon, yun naman sinusuot ng mga ka-age namin eh. We're not using Kung Fu shoes anymore sa mga schools, di ba? So, yung sinasabi na hindi siya right sa target market namin, which is the broad sea and the student. So, parang medyo, ala. It's a very, very competitive. You think of something lesser competitive. Like, as I said, there are hundreds or thousands of brands in the market. It's not easy for you to market this product. Uh, right now, there is, China is the biggest producer of shoes in the world. Do you consider that? This portion is brought to you by Frigo, Bambi Ong, the official hairstylist of Chinoy TV, Chua Beng Thing, Syriaco Corporation, Federation of Electrical and Electronic Supplies and Manufacturers of the Philippines Incorporated. A Vision. Bring your vision to life. Orokan. Maayos ang buhay mo. Divine Secret to Looking Fabulously Fierce. Laser Hair Removal by Flawless. Flawless. Powered by Skin Professionals. WL, my snack, my WL. Columbia's home of quality sweets. For inquiries, you may contact 735-6808 or email us at info at columbiafood.com.ph. Huachao Shan Chi Zhong Hui, 
中华总商会，配合联合日报及飞华电视台 Channel TV 发动赈灾活动，并呼吁社会热心人士，本着人逆我逆的中华传统美德，向招台风蹂躏同胞伸出援手，祝他们度过难关。以重建家园。Our featured food for this week is 